Welcome to CoreLogic's housing market update for February 2022. CoreLogic's national measure of housing values rose by 1.1% in January, up 10 basis points from the December result when the national index was up 1%, but well down from the peak rate of 2.8% in March last year. Five of the eight capital cities recorded a modest uptick in the monthly rate of growth, including Melbourne, which had posted a slight decline in values over December. Despite this, the quarterly change continued to soften, reflecting the longer-term trend of slowing growth across most regions of Australia. Housing stock is thinly traded during January, so it will be important to monitor the trend as transactional activity picks up to see if this softening trend persists into the first quarter of 2022. The early indication is that housing markets are starting this year with a similar trend to what we saw through late last year. Values are still broadly rising, but nowhere near as fast as they were in early 2021. A softening in growth conditions has been influenced by less government stimulus, rising fixed-term mortgage costs, and worsening housing affordability for those that don't own a home. More recently, a slight tightening in credit conditions and a surge in new listings through the final quarter of last year may have contributed to the softer conditions. The annual change in national housing values reached a new cyclical high in January, up 22.4% over the year, the highest annual rate of growth since June 1989. In approximate dollar value terms, the typical Australian home is now worth around $131,000 more than it was a year ago. Brisbane recorded the highest annual rate of growth across the capital cities, with housing values up 29.2%, or approximately $160,000. Continuing a pattern seen over recent months, the January results showed greater diversity, with Brisbane and Adelaide leading the pace of capital gains, up more than 2% over the month, while growth in Melbourne, Darwin, Sydney and Perth recorded substantially softer outcomes. Regional markets have again recorded a substantially stronger result, with the combined regionals index up 1.8% over the month and 6.3% higher over the rolling quarter more than double the pace of growth seen across the combined capital cities over the same time frame. Similar to the capital cities, it was regional Queensland and regional South Australia that led the pace of growth over the month. However, each of the broad rest of state regions recorded a monthly gain of at least 1.2%, demonstrating a depth of demand for regional housing. Regional Australia's outperformance relative to the capitals has been a feature through most of the cycle to date, driven by a combination of higher demand and lower levels of advertised supply. Three of the eight capital cities are now recording a median house value over the $1 million mark. Melbourne's median house value surpassed the $1 million mark for the first time in January, while Canberra recorded a median house value in excess of $1 million for the second consecutive month. In Sydney, the median house value is now approaching the $1.4 million mark. With house values continuing to rise faster than unit values, the difference between the national median house and unit value reached a new record high of 28.3% in January. A further widening of this gap may see demand gradually deflect towards the more affordable medium to high density sector of the market, or towards more affordable detached housing markets typically located around the outer suburbs of metro areas or regional locations. The trends in advertised supply levels go a long way towards explaining the performance of housing values. Melbourne and Sydney have both seen inventory levels normalising over recent months, taking some urgency out of the market as supply and demand become more evenly balanced. On the other hand, the situation in Adelaide and Brisbane, where advertised supply remains tight, is very different. Buyer competition amid low stock levels is a key factor supporting the upwards pressure on prices in these cities. Although January is typically the quietest month for home sales, activity across the country was up an estimated 15% compared to January last year, and almost 40% above the previous five-year average. Demonstrating the strength of demand across regional Australia, the January estimate of home sales was 58% above the previous five-year average, while sales activity across the capital cities was estimated to be 27% higher than average. The pace of growth across Perth's housing market remains relatively low, however the monthly trend of growth has re-accelerated since recording a slight dip in October last year. 
Arguably, the economic fundamentals look strong across Western Australia, and advertised listings are lower than average, which should be supporting stronger price growth. One potential explanation is that closed state borders have disrupted the demand trend flowing from interstate migration, which had showed a strong upwards trend to March last year, but weakened sharply through the June quarter. Housing remains relatively affordable across Perth, with values still 1.4% below their 2014 peak and a median house value that's the lowest amongst the capital cities. Overall, the housing market was still moving out of the seasonal slowdown following the festive period, but early indicators are showing housing market conditions are starting the year similar to where they finished off in 2021. The pace of capital gains remains positive, but increasingly diverse and generally slowing. The trend in advertised listings will be an important factor for housing markets' performance in early 2022. In January, real estate agent activity across CoreLogic platforms was 22% higher than this time last year, suggesting the number of fresh listings could be higher over the coming month relative to previous years. While new listings are likely to trend higher early this year, it is uncertain whether demand will keep pace. There are a range of factors that could weigh on housing demand, including growing affordability constraints, tighter credit availability, rising interest rates, and potentially an increased level of caution amongst buyers wary of buying close to a market peak. If inventory levels rise and demand reduces, we should start to see vendors and buyers becoming more evenly balanced in the market, reducing the sense of urgency that's been a key factor in pushing up prices through the pandemic. We may already be seeing this trend evolve in some markets like Melbourne, where total listings have returned to above average levels and the pace of capital gains has cooled. We are expecting greater diversity in housing market trends this year. Labor markets, demographic patterns, supply levels and affordability will all play a key role in how housing markets perform around the country. The recent trends in housing values, listings and auction results have favoured the smaller capitals such as Brisbane and Adelaide where housing is more affordable and demand continues to outweigh advertised supply. In a similar trend, regional areas within commuting distance of the major capitals and those that offer up a blend of affordability and livability are arguably well placed to outperform the broader market, although we are unlikely to see growth rates getting close to what was recorded in 2021. The trajectory of inflation and interest rates will be critical for housing markets. With higher than forecasted levels of inflation, along with tighter labour market conditions, the prospect for rate hikes later this year is gaining consensus. A higher cash rate presents a clear downside risk for housing values. With so many moving parts and uncertainties, it will be as important as ever to keep up to date on the facts and figures influencing the housing market. We'll be doing our best to keep you up to date throughout the twists and turns of the year ahead. You can stay tuned to the latest updates at our news pages at corelogic.com.au.